And we now move to the auto news. And pleased to be joined once again by the car coach, Lauren Fix. Uh, Lauren, thank you for being here. It's a big day in auto news, as you know. But boy, lots going on. The big news this morning was General Motors. They've given some new guidance on earnings, and they now expect to do better in 2018 when the final numbers come in for Q4. Plus, they say they will do better than expected in 2019. Lauren, th this comes on the heels of that spat with President Trump in November when GM CMO Mary Barra announced some layoffs and plant closings. Uh, what do you make of the news today? Well, I think some of the news that they made is that they're going to make Cadillac their EV luxury brand. They plan to go head to head with Tesla. So I think that's a big factor. The fact is, you know, once they get out there, they've got the reach, they've got the funds behind them. If the product is as good as they hope it will be, and the autonomous car division they're working on, they've reduced some of their cars, increasing their SUVs and truck lineup, it could very be very helpful. And I really, truly believe that having Mark Royce as the president is a big thing because he's a true car guy. He's in his father's position. And I think you're going to see some positive changes coming out of General Motors. Uh, yeah, GM stock has sort of been in, in a in a, a, a flat. really sort of flat, you know. And for a long time, I think trading in the low 30s, it took a jump uh, today on this news uh, over the last five days. But uh, it's really been not being able to get out, I mean, uh, of this sort of rut. So if you're an investor in GM, uh, you're sort of like, what's the deal? Uh, you know, are they doing everything right? And maybe, as you say, uh, this change uh, from Cadillac to heading the company will, will be good. But can you compare... Uh, the others we talked about on the program about how Ford is cutting some jobs in the, the EU, UK uh, the other day. Uh, but can you talk about sort of the big three? We've also got that Chrysler uh, uh, settlement sure. earlier on the, the defeat devices. Uh, talk about these sort of all three together if you can, Lauren. All right. Well, well I, Ford is an important thing. They've really switched a lot of their focus to SUVs. They do have an autonomous program they've had going for a long time, except they're not testing on the streets. They're testing in a private facility because they want to make sure it's perfect before they put it on the roadway. They've reduced their car lineup down to two, and the Lincoln product is coming out bigger and stronger than ever. They can't even keep vehicles on the lot. Every one they're making is being sold. So you've got to give a lot of credit to Ford and Lincoln for being proactive and getting to that point before General Motors did. On the FCA lineup, we're going to see some really cool Jeeps coming out. We're going to see the Gladiator, which is a pickup truck bed with a Jeep in the front. We've got more Dodge Ram product coming out. We've got, of course, more vehicles in general. The one thing that also uh, we were talking about off air is that FCA Fiat Chrysler was fined by the federal government. But what's really weird is they accused them of using a cheat device. The fact is they didn't find a cheat device or cheat software. FCA denies it, but they still find them $800 million, which is almost like a money grab. We're going to accuse you of something. You didn't do it. We can't prove it. We're still going to fine you. So I find that very interesting in these, this dynamic of the federal government taking money from profitable corporations for other, other causes. It goes into the general fund. It doesn't go into roads and bridges or education, which is what we've all like to see happen. Yeah, um, I want to shift because we've only got a couple of minutes left, but there's other breaking news that I referred to. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you've, you've known uh, Carlos Ghosn. You've, we've spoken about him on the program, mm -hmm. and he's still being uh, uh, detained. But it seems that the specter of that investigation is growing, and there's breaking news uh, just in the last uh, few minutes that Nissan Motor Company's chief performance officer, Jose Munoz, is resigning, say, mm -hmm. saying, quote, mm -hmm. uh, my decision to leave Nissan was reached after much reflection and careful consideration, and that, unfortunately, Fortunately, Nissan currently is involved in matters that have and will continue to divert its focus. That's according to Automotive News. Uh, what do you make of this, Lauren? Actually, I was pretty surprised. My first reaction was, wow, because he was placed there by Carlos Ghosn. He's a very smart man. He's very young. He's going to find something very quickly in another field or maybe even in automotive. But it seems like anyone that was tied to Carlos Ghosn is leaving. They're running away so they don't get tied into this. Because the fact is they indicted Carlos Ghosn with two other charges on Friday. And now he's in jail and he's got a fever. So they're, gonna, they're just going to question him a little less. I mean, it, this is unbelievable believable what's going on. If they find nothing wrong, this poor man is going to be going through a lot of uh, really bad situations. Yeah, we, we still have just a little bit of time, so it'll be quick, but I'll ask yep. you, there's one other yep. story that I didn't really understand, and, and maybe you'll explain it, involves Jeep sure. and Mahindra, the Indian automaker, yes. and there's some effort to stop Mahindra from showing vehicles at the auto show in Detroit this year. What's that all about? 
Right. Starting Monday as a North American International Auto Show, we will be calling the Car, Truck, and Utility Vehicle of the Year. I'll be actually calling it at 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern. But Jeep is there. They've got a huge presence. This is their hometown. And Mahindra has made basically a knockoff of the Jeep, and they want to bring that vehicle to Detroit. And Jeep's suing them, and they're saying, you cannot knock off our vehicle or make something that looks very similar, has that same set of with the headlights and the grill being uh, vertical. They're coming out with a vehicle that looks just like it. They may be able to sell it in China, but they will not be able to sell it here in the U.S., and Jeep will go out of their way to block that from happening. Hey, Lauren, I know you will be yeah. like a, a media queen when you do these awards uh, <laughs> next week, but when yeah. you come up for air, we sure like to have you back on the show to tell us about them. Lauren Fix, the car coach, thank, thank you very you. much. Have a great weekend. Thank you, you too.